everyone, I am Echo, and welcome back to One True Collab. This week's in One True Collab is how to week. So for my video, I decided I would teach you guys how to choreograph a dance routine to music because I thought it would be fun. I did this video about 10 months ago on my old collab channel. You guys can go check it out. I will leave the link down in the description. But this is an updated video because I figured why not make an update video because that video got a lot of love. So I figured, hey, why not make another one? So there are 10 easy steps in order to choreograph a dance routine, and I will tell you guys all 10 of those steps. The first one is you need to pick a style. There are millions of styles to choose from. There's hip hop, ballroom, colonial, lyrical, uh, contemporary, lion dancing, there's ballet, there's tap, there's so many different kind of styles. You guys just need to pick one and then that is the first step. The second step is to pick a song and then learn the lyrics or beats or counts or whatever floats your boat. What I do is I learn the lyrics and the counts, but if you're more comfortable learning the beats and learn the beats or learn the lyrics, what I mean by that is when you try to choreograph moves to a dance, you need to understand and learn the song in order to be able to choreograph to that specific song. So the second step is just to pick a song and learn it. The third step is to think of dance moves that would go with that song. So this step really all you need to do is just dance. Think of dance moves, turn on the song, just dance, and then when you're going to choreograph it, you'll know that you use this specific move in this specific part of the song, so that you might want to incorporate that into your dance routine. This isn't the step where you choreograph, it's just kind of the step where you um, have a brainstorm, except not with your brain, with your body, which is what dancers should do anyway. Step number four is to use the dance moves, so pick out some ones that you like, they don't have to be all the ones that you used. Fourth step is just to do exactly what you did in the third step, just this time kind of know what you're going for because you've already did it once. The fifth step is to start on the foot choreography because I don't know why this is, but it's a lot easier for your brain to memorize what your feet are doing. It's a lot harder for you to like get your foot choreography perfect because dancing is more with the feet, less with the upper body. But when you start with the foot choreography and you memorize this, it's going to be a lot easier for your brain to know what your feet are doing if you work on those first. So if step number five, start with foot choreography. The sixth step is to go and move on to your arms or your upper body, whatever you want to call it. So after you've done step five and you worked on your foot choreography, go ahead and start with your upper body because it will be a lot easier like I said for your brain to memorize what your feet are doing therefore you can just kind of know what you do with your feet so you can more focus on your upper body step number seven is to practice your butt off even if it's not important maybe it's just for fun if you really want to learn this and get it perfect you need to practice step number eight is to videotape yourself doing this so that you can watch yourself because you can ask other people what you're doing wrong but the person who's choreographing the dance is you so obviously you're gonna be the best judgment to know what is wrong and what is right so videotape yourself doing Doing it and that is step number eight. Step number nine is to watch the video and pick out the flaws and fix them because obviously you're gonna watch yourself doing it in the video and you see okay this is wrong so step number nine is to repractice the whole thing but this time fix the flaws that you've seen in the video of yourself doing it. And step number ten is to just do it. No matter if it's perfect or if it's not perfect whether or not you did all the ten steps correctly whether or not you took this at your own pace it does not matter but once you get to step ten just do it just go for it and I promise you that it will be amazing because this is your own work so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video on One True Collab. I last night followed these same steps and I came up with a dance choreography that I would love to show you guys. So I'm going to show you guys that right now. If you guys are interested in seeing the full dance, you guys can click the top right of the screen or the top right, wherever it is. You guys can click it, you guys can go see the full dance, which is on my main channel. And so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure to hit the like button and I hope you guys enjoyed my dance. And I will see all of you, of course, in the next video on One True Collab. So goodbye. That's that gate cause you never know I'ma live life till I overdose Where they sleeping on me, that's comatose I went mainstream with my main team You just mad if you ain't come close And your next girl is my ex-girl She fine as hell but she a mess, girl All I do is rhyme my On the way down, screaming. Hey!